Hi everyone, this is Laurie for BeckyHiggins.com. And did you know that you can customize your templates? You totally can, and I'm going to show you how. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my template. I'm going to go to File and Open. I'm going to navigate to the place that I have the template that I would like to use. I'm going to use this Stampin' Up! Design 5A template. I'm going to make sure that I have the PSD file open. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this top layer right here, this intro layer, by clicking on this eyeball icon. Photoshop is really great because it gives you the tools that you can rotate and you can flip your templates so that gives you a different look. How to do that is you go up to Image and Rotate. If you are using full version Photoshop, you're going to go to Image and then Image Rotation. Now under this Rotate menu, we have options to flip it 90 degrees to the left, 90 degrees to the right, and we can even flip it horizontal or vertical so that we get little mirror images of our template. So I'll show you if I go to Rotate 90 degrees to the left, this is what my template looks like. If I want to undo that, I can just do Command and Z on the Mac or Control and Z on a PC. If I go up here again to image and rotate, I can rotate it 90 degrees to the right and you can see what that looks like. Again, I'm going to undo that by doing Command and Z on a Mac or Control and Z on a PC. And then we can also go to image and rotate and we're going to try to flip it vertically and this is what it looks like. So this gives us some different design options from one single template. To undo it to get to my original template by typing Command and Z on a Mac or Control and Z on a PC. Now I'm going to show you how to make additional changes by swapping out your clipping masks. First thing I'm going to do is go up here again to Image and Rotate and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to the right. Now I think I want to have another 4x6 clipping mask up here instead of these two 3x4 clipping masks. All I have to do is to click on these layers and over here I can hide them in my layers palette. Click on the second one and hide it. Now I have this nice blank space where I can add another 4x6 layer. I can click on the 4x6 layer that I want to make a copy of and you can see over here in the layers palette that it is highlighted. I'm going to type my option key if I'm on a Mac or my alt key if I'm on a PC and it will give me this double arrow. When I see that I can click down and I can drag and I want to hold shift because holding shift will keep my 4x6 layer in line with the one that I'm making a copy of and then I can let go. Now you will see I have this 4x6 up here and I have it on its own layer over here. If I want to make sure that I'm lined up exactly with my other 4x6 layer, I can use my alignment keys down at the bottom. I can select this layer and hold my shift key while I select the other layer as well and you will see that they were both highlighted now in my layers palette. And down here I can choose this align top to make sure that my edges are lined up nice and neat over here. If I want to double check that my drop shadows are all correct once I've rotated and made copies, then I can do that by clicking on these little FX icons on each of the layers. If you double click on it, it will show you what your layer style settings are. And we want the angle to be 120 degrees. So we can go through and we can check those layers to make sure that it all looks correct. If they don't, you can easily change the angle by just typing in 120 up here and then selecting OK. Now that we have customized our template, we can go ahead and save a copy of this so that we can use it in the future. We can do that by going to File and Save As. We want to name it a brand new name so that we won't overwrite our original template. Make sure it's in the Photoshop format and click Save. Now with that copy saved, we can go ahead and add in our pictures and our journaling cards and our filler cards to create our layout. I have already completed a layout with the cards and the pictures. So I will go ahead and open that so you can see what it looks like. 
And there it is. If you have any questions, you can email us at digital at beckyhiggins.com.